What's happening, fam? LA All Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. This video, though, is entitled Is Colorism Really Attentionism? Um, <clears throat> every now and then I hit it, the topic comes up and, and I see it. And every now and then I speak on a little bit of it. And I was watching something. I, I, I forgot who it was. But I, it made me think. It's like, is this color issue with the women really an attention issue? Like, they feel like because of their color, they're not um, getting as much attention as everybody else. And it seems a little weird because I have questions. Like, First and foremost, whose attention do you want? Because that's the the, 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 the elephant in the room. Like you want to be looked at as beautiful to somebody, but nobody really knows who. You know what I'm saying? You want to be the, everybody's first choice, I'm guessing. Um, okay, so. <clears throat> The other thing is, is always the same thing about competition because uh, you're going to have to compete. And I think one of the problems I see is, you know, beauty is beauty. If you find, you find. But is colorism like a way to circumvent having to um, compete? As far as being beautiful in general, forget just the the um, the European beauty standard, but just the black beauty standard in itself. Like you're gonna have to, you know, if you can't control, you can't control your face, right? But you can control the rest of your body. So is it you want to be the first choice, no matter how you look? As far as face and body, like, it's just the dark you are, you first choice. No matter, no, weight, body type, doesn't matter. Facial features don't matter. Um, because <clears throat> when it comes up, you know, I'm guessing there's no, there's really not a stereotype for a... Uh, overweight, belligerent woman who's who's lighter than dark skin. So I, I, I unless you talk about like a German chick, you know, because Germans had that German women had that thing about being overweight and BBW busty and 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 aggressive, and Russians had the thing about being manly looking, you know. So. That's the only references I could think of off the top of my head. Um, but is it attentionism? Because, you know, it seems like when I listen, when I hear men and women talk about it, women talk about it more than men. But when I hear women and men talk about it, it comes off as though, you know, Thinking that guys are just picking other women because they're color struck, and there are people who are color struck, but you have to, you know, you still have to fit a certain type. You still have to have a certain uh, body type or look or face or, or a certain type of femininity about yourself. And I think it seems like that part is left out of the conversation. Like, you know, nobody wants to be with somebody who's hard to be with, who's, you know, period. Uh, so, and I get, I mean, I kind of get it as far as like the doll testing, you know, white doll good, black doll bad, you know, the darker the doll, the worse the person, I get all that. But if you, but knowing this going into it, you know who's not really rocking with you like that. In the beginning, it's not going to change. Um, the other thing, I'm wondering because I don't. I mean, I don't know. I I try to stay out of y'all stuff. Period. For the you know, 
people come over here actually think I'm talking about stuff that I'm not talking about, but whatever. The thing about this is, what does it, what would it take, like, what, to compete? I never hear what the ladies got to do to 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 be looked at as a better option, instead of the guys just make you a better option. Like, and I think even if brothers did that, it wouldn't. It would probably exacerbate the problem and not help it. And what I mean by that is, you know, there's no grassroots of women. Be, Working on self improvement, so you, you're not seeing a, a woman work on self improvement to the point where the the image changes. But you want a, just a new image, and you think the women going to change, and that's not how it really goes. Narcissism don't work that way. Like if ever, you know, it's a lot of guys who done gassed up a lot of chicks to not improve on themselves in the first place. You know, you you find the way you are, right? So to me, that's the same thing that's gonna happen. Could be right, could be wrong, right? But is it about the color or is it about the attention? Because, and is, and is it like um, publicity? All publicity is good publicity, so does it matter if the attention is good or bad? Because what I also notice is, you know, you like everybody else, you want to sweep all the negative under the rug and promote all the positive. But, Everybody sees what's getting swept under the rug. So you can't run from that. So what do you so what are we doing, you know? And and going back to to, to to is it is it really about attention and to the beginning part when I was saying who? Because do you want the attention of non black men? This is, and you want black men to put you on a pedestal to, to put you on the forefront so you can get snatched up by non-black men. You know that's not gonna happen. Um, you need that's something you need to do on your own if that's the case. Um, are you trying to you want to be attention attention for other women? Like brothers ain't gonna do that either. But that's something you need to do on your own. You know when it comes to need to be the first choice of who like is it is it a is it a, a thing that's inside the race where you feel like you need to be the first choice over like a dark skinned woman needs to be the first choice and then a brown skinned woman needs to be the second choice and then a light skinned woman needs to be the third choice as far as attention in general like and I don't even think that's feasible I don't even think that's I mean because it doesn't matter who you connect with or or who you um, have a good rapport with. It doesn't matter about the relationships you build. What, what matters is the color first, you know, until everybody's the same color. But everybody ain't going to be the same color at the end of the day, no way. Um, so what is the actual... You know, what is this about? You know, because, I mean, I remember, to me, it always looks like, um, you know, this is just not you all season, if you're darker, because, as a woman, because there used to be the season where they said it's the, the black of the berry, sweet of the juice. So, obviously, dark skin women was killing it, right? So, now... This is y'all uh, Prince and Elder Barge phase, and you don't like it. Cool, I get it. You know, as a guy, I get it. Um, because, you know, the other thing, because as I'm looking at this commercial right now, nobody complains about um, the imagery of n not being dark and dark like a dark woman and a dark man together if it's you know nobody says oh they, they should be together it doesn't they don't say that it's more so she needs to be with everybody else in depictions that say she got options 
But if it's the other way around, that's wrong. So, <clears throat> this is my curious question. So, is it about color or is it about attention? Peace.